Okay. Ready, guys? Hi. I hope you're having a really good Wednesday. I'm letting my hair dry natural today. So let's have a good day. Um, we're going to start by doing this fun activity that I used to do with the students where we close our eyes. and I'm going to clap. You have to keep track of the number of times I clap. So count it in your head. Ready? Keep that number in your brain. Keep your eyes closed. Open your eyes. How many times did I clap? Yes, I clapped six times because I clapped how many times the first time? Five. And how many times did I clap the second time? Once. So five and one make Six, very nice. So I am going to fill in my number bond with those numbers. Five and one makes six. Let's say that. Get ready. Five and one make six. One. And five makes six. One and five makes six. Let's go to another one. Let's do close your eyes again. Keep them closed until I say open. Hold that number in your brain. Open your eyes. How many times did I clap? Get ready. Yes, six. I clapped six times. How many times did I clap the first time? And how many times did I clap the second time? twice two times so four and two make six very good let's write what that would look like four and two make six very good job let's say two and four make six Two and four make six. Let's go to our next one. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Hold that number in your brain. Hold that number in your brain. Open your eyes. How many times did I clap? Six, very good. How many times did I clap the first time? Three, how many times did I clap the second time? Three, very good. So this is your chance to write that number bond. And that's it. That's what you have to do in your application problem for today. Make your number bond about my claps. So I'm going to use my cubes just like I used them yesterday. And we're going to talk about a squirrel that collected six nuts in the fall. Getting my cubes ready.
Here's my six stick. You can show your cubes with anything you like. If you have circles at home, if you have blocks, if you have beans. So this is how six looks. If we show our five stick, because we know we like to keep our colors the same in fives and add one more, this is how six would look. So we started with five and we added one more and that makes six. So how would that look in our number bond? These are our parts and our parts make the whole. So let's fill in our number bond with our parts and the whole. So how many parts did we start with? Five. And how many nuts did we add? One. Five and one make? Six. Awesome. Five and one make six. Say that. Five and one make six. Great job. Let's move on. So we're going to talk about our nuts again. She the squirrel buried four nuts and stored two in a tree. So a squirrel buried four nuts and put two in a tree. So if I start with this and I break it to show the four that went and stored the nuts in the ground and buried them and two that are in the tree. How many are in the ground? Four. And how many are in the tree? Two. Very nice. These are our parts and our parts make the whole. Very nice. So let's fill in our number bond. What do four and two make? Six. Let's fill in our number bond. Four and two make six. Great work, boys and girls. Have another way that our squirrel could store the nuts. So we already did one and five, two and three, I mean, two and four. So what's another way? three and three. If I break my six stick in half, I get three and three. Very nice. So these are our parts. And when we put them together, it's the whole. Very nice. So three and three make Six. Let's do that in our number bond. Three and three make six. Say that. Three and three make six. Great job paying attention knowing three and three make six. Now we're on to our problem set for today. So look at the birds. I want you to make two different number bonds about these birds. So what's one way we could group them? The 
the type of bird. Okay, yes, the type of bird. Because if you notice, some of the birds have a pointy beak and some have a really flat beak with little hair sticking out in the back of their head. Do you see those two different types of birds? Also, what's another way? Size, some of the birds are big and some of the birds are small. Wow, that's another good way. What's another way? So we have the type of bird, the size, the color. Yes, you can make a number bond about the color. Three of the birds are orange and three of the birds are white. So you can make your number bonds about those birds and you know how to do number bonds. Here, you're gonna color some of the squares green and the rest yellow. I want two different number bonds right here. We know how to do this. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys have an amazing Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow for the last math lesson of the week. Bye guys.